Good morning from Sydney. It's Andy Kelly from Sundial Consulting. Just arrived here and this morning I wanted to talk to you about Gravitas. I was thinking about the Opera House and the power, the passion, the persuasion of opera. So what is Gravitas? Do you have it? Do you know how to get it? Um, it's something that the Romans held with great importance along with Dignitas and you were kind of measured equally on both in terms of your status in society. Nowadays it's very different but Gravitas really means weight, it means impact, it means persuasion. Um, there's many things we could talk about, there are many books written about Gravitas. We could talk about your stature, your poise, your voice, your knowledge. But I actually want to talk about the core root platform for Gravitas, which is really built into your self-awareness and your aspirations. Um, there is actually an equation. Aristotle had an equation for Gravitas. <laughs> you know, I had an equation for everything. Um, so it's based on his three pillars of persuasion ethos plus logos plus pathos minus your anxiety or insecurity it's all greek to me <laughs> ethos is who you are what you believe in what is your true north what is your expertise what do you bring to the table and it kind of gives you your reputation logos is then the logic and the reason and the knowledge that you need to live that better than anyone else. And then pathos is passion, is the way in which you live, the way in which you make people feel about what it is you believe in. And then minus the insecurities and anxieties, right? We've all got them, some more than others, many and varied. Um, and we tend to keep hold of them through life, which is really weird to me, but we all do it. Uh, it could be your mum dropped you in the bath on your head, not by accident. Your dad never hugged you. You didn't make it through school. You're too fat, you're too thin. Um, you're not funny enough. All these things that kind of hold us back. People with gravitas, they carve them away. Through their life, they start to let them go. So for me, it's about helping others. You know, I got the fortunate opportunity to build some self-awareness. And I look back, look back at school. I was the guy people went to. I was the guy people went to with their stories and their worries and their concerns. Um, my career in sales, you know, I look back at that. I actually wasn't that good. I wasn't a great negotiator. What I did was, was deeply invested in my customer. I invested in their personal life, their business life, their political life. And it generally served me well. Um, about 10 years ago, I moved into this career to really double down on helping others. And after working with 700 teams in 30 odd countries, I feel like I'm pretty damn good at it. And that's what my customers tell me. <laughs> and I love it. I absolutely love it. I love seeing the light bulb come on. I love seeing people find out strengths and potential they didn't know they had. I love seeing people turn around adversity and build strengths out of weakness. I love it when people tell me they've let go and they've moved on. And two years down the line, they're now coaching and mentoring people through their change journey. You know, I absolutely love it. And yeah, I've got piles of insecurities, you know, but I'll pick one of many. Um, you know, I grew up in a tough neighborhood. I grew up in, on the streets and it was all about survival. And I wasn't the roughest or toughest person. So I kind of did it by getting into people's heads and getting to know them. Um, and never thought that I'd be sat here by Sydney Opera House talking to you. Almost that I don't deserve that, right? The imposter syndrome. Um, but I'm working on that. I'm cutting that away. And um, I think it's a rare opportunity in life if you get the chance to really find out who you are, what you want to be when you grow up, then become bloody good at that subject and live it with passion. You know, you hopefully have met people like that in your career, or maybe you are one. You know, they have weight, they're grounded or rooted in their beliefs, yet they're light, they can float because they take themselves lightly. 
they cut away the insecurities or they're happy to talk about their frailties and weaknesses. So I'd love to hear your stories of Gravitas. Do you know what it is? Do you think you can get it? Let us know. Bye from Sydney, it's Andy. Goodbye.